Le Chatelier's Principle, Temperature, Higher Content, by kscience.com. Le Chatelier's Principle states, if a change in conditions is introduced to a dynamic equilibrium, the position of the equilibrium will move to cancel out the change. A change in conditions includes concentration, pressure, and temperature. In this video, we're going to use Le Chatelier's principle to explain how changing the temperature affects the position of the equilibrium. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In this reversible reaction, the forward direction is exothermic and the backward direction is endothermic. The forward and backward direction can be either exothermic or endothermic, depending on the reversible reaction. In the exothermic direction, energy is released into the surroundings. And in the endothermic direction, energy is taken in from the surroundings. In the exothermic direction, when energy is released into the surroundings, this causes the temperature of the surroundings to increase. And in the endothermic direction, when energy is taken in from the surroundings, this causes the temperature of the surroundings to decrease. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So in this reversible reaction, if the temperature increases, the endothermic direction is favoured. So more NO2 is formed, so more energy is taken in from the surroundings, as the endothermic direction is favoured when the temperature increases. As the endothermic direction is favoured, this causes the temperature to decrease back to the equilibrium. We already know from previous videos, NO2 is brown and N2O4 is pale yellow. So when we look at this reacting mixture, we can see from our observations that because more NO2 is formed, the reacting mixture becomes more brown. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Whereas, if the temperature decreases, the exothermic direction is favoured. So, more N2O4 is formed as more energy is released into the surroundings. This causes the temperature to increase back to the equilibrium as more energy is released into the surroundings as the exothermic direction is favoured. When we look at this reacting mixture, we know that NO2 is brown and the N2O4 is pale yellow. The observations of this chemical reaction is that the reacting mixture becomes more pale yellow as more N2O4 is formed as the exothermic direction is favoured due to the decrease in temperature. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.